What is up investors, Jason here. So in this video, we're gonna be talking about Cardano. Do you wanna get an update on some things that are coming out, some things to look forward to with Cardano, as we haven't seen the price of Cardano come down quite significantly from where it was at as high as back in September of 2021. Now, the overall crypto market in general though has been shaken up quite a bit. Now, we currently have Bitcoin retesting $40,000 at this moment. It's currently sitting at $39,000. We have Ethereum currently at about $2,600. But looking over at all the altcoins, things are really, um, a big change going on here because uh, back in the day, back in September of 2021, not that long ago, but at that time, we had briefly saw Cardano being the third largest cryptocurrency by market cap, just sitting under Ethereum as it was making some very aggressive moves. Now, lately, we've been seeing Cardano and Solana kind of just a back and forth thing of which one is uh, going to have a bigger market cap than each other. But uh, while we've been looking at that this whole time, uh, XRP and Terra Luna has really surpassed them. Now we have XRP being the sixth largest cryptocurrency by market cap and Terra Luna being the seventh largest cryptocurrency by market cap. And those ones are making some pretty good moves as far as the altcoins go. Now, in general, though, with Cardano and Solana, those ones have you know really dropped down quite a bit in their market caps and their prices from where they were at their all-time highs. Now, currently, Cardano's sitting at the price of about... 85 cents. That's been an area of support that has really been holding at uh, pretty strongly here. It's been trying to retest the price of $1. And that $1 is a very key price because we can see that you, uh, Cardano could float between the price of $1 and $1.50 for a while. We've seen it back in the back in its history, looking at it, it can stay within that price for a while. And then after it can pass the price of $1.50, it can really have a good chance of mooning if that is to be the case. But Currently, that's the area that we need to get over. Now, let's just go into some news that currently is out there about Cardano. So as we get to it, if you guys don't mind, please do me a huge favor. Please be sure to smash this story, annihilate, or just gently press that like button to help me out with the YouTube algorithm, help spread the video to more people that might find it interesting, and subscribe if you have not already, and look me up on all our pl other platforms because I do also broadcast over on Spotify in video format as well, and also videos are coming out on TikTok in 10-minute format. So uh, let's get to it. <laughs> Now, we're not really having many gains with Cardano as we've been seeing the crypto market just sitting in extreme fear, and we've been seeing it sitting in fear or extreme fear lately. Now, back in August and September of 2021, no one expected to see that Cardano would drop down to prices that were below $1. Everybody thought that things were going to be continue bullish on Cardano like we were seeing with the whole crypto market. Things were just going extreme at that time where we're really starting to see some good runs with Bitcoin and all that kick in as we're seeing a new big rally in the crypto market in general. But uh, that hasn't been the case with Cardano as, as we had seen the crypto market really make some big advances like even in October and November of 2021 where we had seen Bitcoin go to an all-time high. Uh, we didn't see any big rallies with Cardano at that time. We had that big rally in August and then uh, the beginning of September and then all we did was see pullback after we got things that we were looking forward to with Cardano with the Alonzo update and the Cardano Summit and hearing everything that we could be expecting with these um, smart contract capable applications that we're going to be coming out with Cardano. You know, a lot of things to look forward to, you know, decentralized exchanges, uh, NFT, gaming, all these different things that, that could now be possible with Cardano that we had a lot of hype that was really driving it. Now, there definitely is a lot of amazing things in the works with Cardano. If you look over at the Cardano ecosystem, it's just this growing ecosystem of, of, of things that are coming out or things that have just recently come out. And then you can get a really good idea by looking into it. Now, um, the thing here is, though, that a lot of people thought that this Cardano ecosystem was something that was pretty much going to be um, evolving much faster than it actually has. And, and that hasn't been the case. The thing is, that these are all separate independent projects by other teams that are developing these. And then this stuff here has to be functioning and then be approved. And it's one of those things that Rome wasn't built in a day. And I've said it many times when I talk about Cardano. Now, uh, we do have a lot of, uh, of these different applications that have recently come out. We've seen some really great things with them too, like Sunday Swap, for example. Now, Sunday Swap is a decentralized exchange based on the Cardano network, and it is a big part of the Cardano ecosystem. And the big thing here is that Sunday Swap is what is doing the most transactions with Cardano at this moment. Now, back in February, it had been announced that Cardano uh, transaction volume had beat Bitcoin and Ethereum combined. And things are only just getting started as we're just getting into the Cardano ecosystem. And there's plenty of things to continue to start launching within Cardano uh, to be planned here soon. 
like a new DEX that's coming out that has a lot of hype called AdaSwap, the next gen DEX based on Cardano, which is going to allow you to swap, bridge, and trade between Cardano's base tokens and stable coins within seconds. Now, the big thing here with AdaSwap is that they've just recently had a big funding round, and I've talked about this already before, but uh, Gal Gadot of, uh, that plays Wonder Woman in the uh, in the movies, she is an investor into AdaSwap. She had participated in one of the funding rounds for AdaSwap, and this is something that we're going to be expecting to come out within the third quarter of this year. But it's not like we have to wait till AdaSwap to see another DEX launch on Cardano as we have MenSwap that is launching right now on Cardano. And this is something that is still uh, still developing right now. But this is a new decentralized exchange that is launching on Cardano. Now, currently, MenSwap is in the second phase of their bootstrapping event, which this will be uh, completing the settlement phase on March 13th. So uh, some things to look forward to with MenSwap. Now, with these DEXs coming out, you can only imagine how many more transactions we're going to continue to see with Cardano as it, with Sunday Swap, they were already completing more transactions in a day than both Bitcoin and Ethereum combined. Only imagine what Cardano is going to be doing as we're seeing now men swap out and, and that continuing to develop. And then all the other DEXs that are going to continue coming out like AdaSwap and such, th things are going to get absolutely insane. And you can only imagine what you're going to be seeing with these larger investors that are coming in and buying Cardano. There's going to be more and more volume coming in as the um, transaction volume is increasing and there's, uh, there's more and more demand for for ADA. Now, the big thing here, though, is that we are seeing a large number of will buying with Cardano. And, and by will buying, I don't mean one of the rumors that was out there about uh, JP Morgan buying uh, or having a bunch of Cardano. Uh, that was a recent tweet that Charles Hoskinson just recently posted said, just want to point, point out that JP Morgan does not own any critical Cardano infrastructure. Uh, that was a rumor that was out. And uh, but anyways, there is a large number of wills that have purchased ADA, and uh, that's something that is definitely worth talking about. Now, we just recently heard some news about the wells uh, that are holding ADA. Now, the balance of, balances of addresses that are holding between 1 million and 10 million ADA has grown exponentially in 2022. Now, on March 1st, it, was, it had reached a new all-time high of 12.47 billion ADA held by these addresses that hold between 1 million and 10 million ADA, that's insane. Now, with cryptocurrencies being more tied in with the stock market and geopolitical issues that are definitely affecting a lot of things in the world right now, especially um, especially with markets, and we're seeing that really affect the price of Bitcoin, uh, we, we might have the, the current geopolitical issues priced into the market or not, and who knows where these prices could go. And whatever Bitcoin currently does is definitely going to um, change the prices of the different altcoins that are out there and definitely for Cardano in general. Now, if we do see the price of Bitcoin start to show more bullish signs, and that's definitely going to really help out Cardano as well, because there's a lot of things right, right now that can really be very bullish on Cardano with, but it's the overall crypto market in general that can also affect the um, a single per, uh, particular cryptocurrency. So uh, when when really Bitcoin and Ethereum win, and then everybody else wins, and and the rate of of growth between the different altcoins is all dependent on you know what what they really have to offer. Now in the case of Cardano, in my opinion, I think that there are a lot of great things to offer, and a lot more definitely to offer now than there was back in uh, early September of 2021. But it's all one of those wait and see kind of things to see what really happens. So, uh, anyways, I'd like to hear everybody's thoughts and opinions on the price of Cardano right now. Now, I'm still very bullish on Cardano. I still have that you know five to seven dollar long term projection of where we will see the price of it go in the future. But I think in the short term, I think maybe sometime here in 2022, we can see Cardano go back and work up, work its way back up to that three dollar price. But there's no guarantees, obviously, because anything can happen at this moment, especially at these crazy times that we're we're having in the world. But with that being said, I'd like to hear everybody's thoughts and opinions about about um, Cardano and the overall crypto market in general. So please like, share, comment, subscribe. New videos coming out all the time. Thank you guys for watching.